Opti uh, investors being too optimistic with the direction of the economy and these earnings power of the S&P 500. Here to drill down on this is Jerry Castellini. He is president and chief investment officer of Castle Arc Management. Jerry, it's great to have you. So uh, just an observation, you know, tell me if this makes sense to you, but the way I see it, we hear so much belly aching from corporate America about higher supply and labor and input costs and transportation difficulties. And then we turn around and look at the numbers and this is like the most amazing earnings ever, not revenue, earnings. So they have, yeah. you know, they're increasing their profit margins. Well, Kelly, I mean, let's be honest. These guys have to always uh, put caution ahead of everything they say just to, just to sound good. Uh, but the reality is that GDP report today and the market's reaction to it are spot on. The, all we've seen now is the pushing out of what we were worried at the beginning of the year was, OK, one blast of growth and then rolling back over. Now your, your visibility is being pushed out into maybe 2023 hmm. because you're, you're forcing companies to slow their pace of growth, which would they, they'd prefer all day. And you're allowing somebody to discount stock and, and earnings you get us now, you know, five or six quarters that, that we get to see visibility on. Okay, so you're kind of in the camp that looked at it and said, okay, there was inventory drawdown, we're going to need restocking, a slower yeah. pace now means a, a stronger pace then and so forth. So what does this mean for corporate earnings? Okay, so we have a market price as of this morning, as of the open, at all-time highs for all the major averages. But the way that you see it, these earnings uh, are justified. I mean, we spoke yesterday with the CEO of Stiefel, and he said the earning, the trailing operating earnings are at their highest levels since basically the late 90s and the late 1920s. Is that a concern for you? Not at all. In fact, again, we, earnings uh, have been growing systemically for 30 years now uh, on the backs of the, the transition of the economy into service and things that are much more innovation driven. And we're now seeing all those innovations that people have put in place that's now manifested itself in these, these better than expected earnings. And as I've said before, now you're going to have the, the smooth bathing of the waters of growth for the next five or six quarters to now push back some operational leverage. So it, it may, in fact, be the best of both worlds. Wow. All and, right. And boy. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.